Hey everyone, it's Leviathan here again. This here is my intro video to explain to you guys what I normally talk about for my videos that I make from this point on to help you guys out. My Leviathan universe is very prodigious. I have 15,000 plus characters and creatures that are accounted for as compared to the infinite number in this infinite onion of a multiverse. The five main heroes are notably the five most focused characters in my Leviathan universe. There's Madame Shear, founder and owner of Layer Tech Industries. There's Dentrini, who's the biological granddaughter of Satana, founder and ruler of Tartarus. And she herself is also um, the director of the Paranormal Defense. Pym is a Lunarian, which is an alien species that's currently endangered after their home star exploded. Um, Colossa is the, uh, the granddaughter of Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods and creator of the Cosmos. Colossa herself has infinite growing capacity, can shoot nuclear beams from her hands, can break the fourth wall and other powers. And Kyjericus is Queen of the Mutants who's basically a woman who was mutated into a giant reptilian kaiju woman, who now protects people from kaiju-based threats. I have all of this elaborate information I could, could tell you and such, because they are all really impressive, and I really recommend that you gotta check these stuff out, because it, it will blow you away. And you know who Stanley is? Stan Lee, the guy who created Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Avengers, and all that stuff. I am planning to be as blessed as he was. And I really hope that this is the right reality. And if you guys want, I really hope that I could be able to succeed with my creations. Yeah, so basically it's really impressive stuff, and I made all of them, and I have to make it up to them. You know, because I made them exist, and I have to make it worth it for them. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys have a decent understanding. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Viathon here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I am finally introducing the three characters that I should have introduced exactly last week from As We Speak. And I hope you guys are interested during and after this video and such. You know? Here's the first one. Colossus. Real name, Kathy Rhodes. Height, 5 feet 8 inches to unlimited. Weight, 184 pounds to unlimited. Status, villain turned hero and lover of Colossa. Base, altered dimension, mobile. Intelligence, 3.5 brains. Behavior, flirtatious and willful. She'll do anything to protect the innocents from most forms of problems. Lethality. Highly deadly to most opponents. Weaknesses. Her love for Colossa. Powers. She has most powers as Colossa, but with heat vision instead of nuclear beams from her hands. Eyes light green, hair grayish black and spiky. Origin. In the altered dimension, Gathy Rhodes was an average woman who wanted to find love. One day, Kathy was captured and transformed by a native villain known as Bloodlord, who is the evil counterpart of the Master, developing intense powers in another attempt to destroy the innocents. Renamed as Colossus, she was brainwashed and forced to annihilate the native New York City of the Alpha Earth until Colossa arrived to defeat her. With her brainwashing disabled, Colossa found it more fun to protect rather than destroy, and she decided to improve herself. Not only is she no longer controlled by the villainous Bloodlord, 
but Kathy has also found the perfect lover in the mighty Colossa. Costume. She wears a deep black latex jumpsuit. Team Solitary with Colossa and other heroes was inspiration. DC's Feora. Here's the next character, just so you know. Doppelganger. Real name inapplicable. Height and weight varied. Status anti-hero and identity thief. Base bubble. Intelligence half a brain to five brains and five pluses. Behavior. Sneaky and merciless. It'll always get away with it. Lethality. Depends on the form. Weaknesses as above. Powers. It can instantly shift itself into any person or creature that it could think of, along with its powers and weaknesses. Eyes deep black, hair varied. Origin. One time, Neuron decided that a new way to destroy the innocents would be to keep the heroes from trusting each other. Just so you know, Neuron is a cosmically intelligent supervillain and notable enemy of the Master. After a while, she created a genderless being that could take on the form of any organism. Naming it Doppelganger, Neuron then commanded it to ruin the trust between the heroes. After a time of confusion, Madame Sheer and Denstrini figured it out and teamed up to defeat it. After getting reasoned with, Doppelganger decided to become an anti-hero in attempts to be more successful. Costume simply wears nothing official, just whatever it feels like wearing. If it needs to, you know. Team solitary, or with others, original inspiration, shape-shifting. Here's the last character, just so you know. Beatdown. Real name, Beatrix Downer. Height 6 feet 3 inches, weight 202.5 pounds, status anti-hero in Rival of Victory. Base Hong Kong Mobile, intelligence 3 brains. Behavior, merciless and brutal, she's always willing to fight Victory, who is a character with seemingly unlimited strength, emphasis on seemingly. Lethality, highly dangerous to most opponents weaknesses. Pride. She has no healing factor. Powers. She has almost unreachable martial arts skills, being able to fight victory into an occasional tie. She also has high agility and can break every bone in your body, knowing exactly where to strike. Eyes deep auburn. Hair deep auburn inch in length. Origin. Beatrix Downer was an average young woman who was brutally bullied in the past. One day, Beatrix encountered D. Jin, which is an anti-hero character, which is basically a female genie, who infused her with fighting skills that almost nobody would master. Renaming herself to Beatdown, she challenged countless opponents in a wide variety of battles and gained the desire to become unstoppable. However, when she did her first fight against Victor, she realized that she too needs an equal. Since then, Beatdown would always be willing to go up against Victory, for they are the perfect frenemies. Costume. She dresses in Chinese robes. Team Solitary with Victory and others. Original inspiration, DC's Lady Shiva. Well, those are the three characters, and... I apologize if I've been plummeting in your eyes. I don't know if it's because of me being unsuccessful with recent videos, or if it's because of the algorithm. I just really hope that I'm pulling this off, you know. And good news, I've finally been able to uh, finish the rest of the cards. I showed you the hero and villain cards. Here are the rest of the cards, which is all in this strategic pile, which... I hope is worth it for you guys. Like, check out this logo. Doesn't this look decent? I tried my best to make it strategic. And I hope it looks like a human or at least humanoid skull. You know? So, yeah. 
I uh, hope you guys are interested in what I have to say. If you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You don't have to, you know how it is. I don't want to force you, because what's even the point if I do? And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a decent Mother's Day. And just so you know, my mom's birthday is coming up. I don't know exactly when the number of day is, but I do know that it's happening in this month as we speak. So I apologize in advance. I'm just trying to make this all work within the duration of time that I have. And I hope you guys have a fine rest of the month. Yeah. Happy summer vacation when the time is nigh. You know how it is. In transmission.